Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time to delve once again into the dark and twisted world of King Arthur Knight's Tale. Now you may recall in the last episode I struggled a bit with the Red Knight mission. And that's because this is a recovery week. The nature of this injury and the sheer amount of missing vitality is what makes this a recovery week. You always hope for an easy mission on a recovery week. You know, while you've got the less experienced characters out dealing with stuff while the main characters are convalescing. I imagine the White Knight mission will be a tricky one, especially as we want Sir Parsifal for that one. Now that leaves us with a level 19 mission, which nobody's equipped to deal with, or a main storyline mission. Yikes. I believe this is the Celts and... Uh, not the Tuatha Dé Danann, that's the Elves, isn't it? The, the Picts are rallying around a mysterious The Formorians, night. of course. For which we have a level 17 character on a level 18 mission. That's not ideal. Now, normally, in a level-based game like, such as this, or a team-based level-based game, you can handle being a level or two below the party average, or even quite a few levels below, Provided you aren't the only party frontline fighter. Yes, I've been in that situation. The situation of being six levels below a level seven party of squishy back rank support casters who honestly expected me to be able to protect them all and somehow be a one man shield wall in a level seven adventure. Yeah, it just it doesn't happen. It doesn't end well. Any other, any other kind of role in the team where you're not constantly getting attacked by the enemies which are designed to be capable of, you know, a suitable challenge for the much higher level characters, you're probably going to be okay. Let's check our potion situation. I should probably use this to grow up at some point to get rid of it. Mm, it may be worth getting a blue potion for the armor but we are also mm. it's gonna be rough blue potion Ooh, what's this oh very nice I think I should risk it. So, we got a lot of people training, and then hopefully we'll have a level 17 frontliner to get on a level 18 mission. Now that mission does feature lots of the lost, and he's pretty good at handling those. possibly as the only frontline fighter on that mission. So, let's dive into this one and see how it goes. The Picts are rallying around a mysterious knight who might be the last fragment of King Arthur's soul. The Druids of the Blackthorn Council reached out to their allies and followers to find out where this gathering will take place. Now that we have a location, we must attack as soon as possible. Now, just a reminder, we are under-leveled, slightly under-leveled for this mission. Uh, reward is bonus gold. The other one was bonus experience, so it might have been just lots of fights. That being said, this is a main storyline mission, so it could escalate quite significantly. At this point, obviously, it's a tough week, it's a recovery week. We've had one tough mission, and we're basically probing to see what we can achieve. 
All right, fingers crossed. Here we go. Lots of bones of great beasts. The mighty dragons that once walked this land and flew through the air. Here we go. Nope, apparently not. A little bit longer on the load bar. Damn, I thought I had that one under control. Oh, it's really sticking on that bit, isn't it? Okay. We walk out of the sandy dust. Greetings, Knights of Camelot. Greetings. Are you the armed companion I was told to expect here? Yes, I am. I've already lost a few warriors, and my scouts warned about a large group approaching us. It looks like abandoned ne'er do wells, and he doesn't appear to be heavily armed. Don't worry. We're here now. The picks are here. To arms! Stop the painted savages! These knights will help you. Well, that certainly looks like a lot of them. I think it may definitely be worth trying to tackle one of these hammer wielders straight away. Oh, you know what? In that case... There we go. Hit all of them. I now, fight for honor. She doesn't have her ranged attack yet. You must be really desperate. Setting them on fire won't do much if they become invulnerable. But one square closer. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, no. Send in the birds. Excellent. At your service, my lord. If you, my lady, would be so kind as to stand here. I fight for honor. And then you could jump up here and I mean. That's very impressive, but I think taking a yeah, taking a defensive stance. And yeah, we're good. I think she healed the wrong button, given that he can become invulnerable. Now, most of these warriors on the accompanying party aren't very tough and are going to drop. It's more the sorcerer himself we must protect. And I think they're... look, they're not very tough. They're thematically designed to perish quite easily. That's a slight problem. Only slight. Oh, mate, big mistake. There has to be a way to... I haven't found a way to bypass that invulnerability yet. But it would be really nice if we could find one. Well, that's not good. Oh, mate. No, I can still do this. Hmm. I think we're just going to have to stay here 
and get some sort of hit points. At your service, my lord. Now. What do you want from me? <laughs> yep, fully expected that. What if we make him attack his nearest ally? I mean, he'll be invulnerable, but actually at the start of their turn he might not be. Let's just pop over here. If we can. I mean, I you, my dear, honor. could go stand... You know what? That's a risk. For king and country. Just stand there. Yeah, that oh, face that way. There we go. Kneel before your king. Look, it gets rid of. Oh no, okay. Well, hey. Brilliant. Yeah, look, we really oh, until they're vulnerable again, there's not a lot we can do. Actually, wait a minute. There he is. Okay. Not so invulnerable now, eh? <laughs> that in a moment. It's one of those, got it. Now we need to get him out of the area, which we probably cannot do, but we can kill her. So it's the other way of getting out of the area. How am I going to do that now? Claim that kill. Your command. Take our teleport out here. There we go. Now the sorcerer is safe. His name is not Simon. That would be a shit name for a sorcerer. I don't care how many crappy computer games were made about it. What do you want? I mean, look, while I'm here... None can stand in my way. Okay. <laughs> Let me For king and country. There we go. Right, we're done. As is she, momentarily. Excellent. I had no time to introduce myself properly. Introduce? Does he mean introduce? Great. Who are you? My name is Edan. I am one of the sages of the Blackthorn Council. How could you help us exactly? We've already sent out some scouts. They found a bridge not far from here, where the Picts set up a large camp. I remember that bridge. The leaders of the savages are already there. Then I suppose the knights you are looking for must have crossed through. We, that is an indicator that we might actually meet him towards the very end of the mission. Hope we don't, as we're nowhere near ready yet, but then we will have to follow him again. 
I'll join you, but I must leave my warriors here. They will guard the road, hold up Pictish reinforcements, and protect our back. This is a good plan. Let's go. It's also good because it removes them from the mission, from the active mission, right? Which is good because there's no accounting for how many of them might have survived that encounter. Now let's have a look at our map here. We've got a fair bit of stuff to explore. So let's have some fun. Four bonfires. However, two of them are over here on the other side of this bridge. Rough. And two are near the bridge, so it's dangerous to begin with. And that's the edge of the map. Okay. Well, well, now I know why the Picts are gathering here. This rock is ancient and very dangerous, and they have already tapped the magical powers of the stone before. Hmm. We're going to have to be a little careful here. Again, because we are... What is this thing? Uh, what? That? Okay. Because we're protecting a lower level character who is a frontliner. That's just mine. Watch your steps. We are getting close. There is another. What? Knights! Uh -oh. Destroy them all. There is another one. Kill the guards. Then we must deal with that giant at the bridge. I say that we should ambush that creature. Sword or sorcery? Could have gone with vulnerability, but it didn't feel quite worth it at this range. Okay, I'm gonna walk out to here. Your orders. And you, my lady, can nip in here. We have force bolt and thunderbolt. No. If we go to here. And then do that. Bet haunts him the numbers. At your service, my lord. And now we wait. Yeah, that could be a problem, especially if there's two of them. Oh, we gotta move. Okay. So be it. Well, we want to remove that stun. Oh, that's terrible. For king and country. I fight for honor. At your service, my lord. Okay, that did it. <laughs> okay, so we can't reach it this turn. Could be of some help, I suppose. Yeah, maybe just taking out entire combatants is the way to go here. These kind of due for some protection removal, to be honest. There we go. Your command.
it won't do damage, but it will remove one of his protections. Or I can just lay down a bit more harm over there. Your orders? Kneel before your king. That will... Oh, hello. I kind of want to put it here. There we go. Now we do have that warrior with the two-handed hammer up there to be able to roll. Oh, double O. But we have a line. Your service, my lord. Take okay, armor up, it's about all we can do there. Sword or what sword we can do spring. here, though, is this. Excellent stuff. And if we can make one of you attack the other, that would be great. Throw up an illusion over here. Put it right next to him. I still think it would be good as if it looked like he was starting to cast his Raven Teleport spell and then just stayed behind afterwards and another one appeared over here and they never knew which one was real. Your command. Speaking of not knowing which one's real. For my Camelot. Oh, that is actually—it's a bit of a problem. <laughs> oh well, I can take from turn face this way, and I think we're done. Nah. At your service, my we lord. We can step out of here. Now we need you next to her. What's it gonna be? Uh. Oh, but that one's dying now as well. Excellent stuff. Okay, let's not. Close mode. It's just a light wound. That's a lot of missing armor. Look, it's not much, but it all counts, okay? Um, that, not a lot we can do about it. You think I can't fight? I mean, there is, but... Okay, let's pop over here. I'm gonna have to go to get a... I'm not getting a unobstructed line to that target from... Let's just walk to here. Walk with your feet, man. What? That was a waste. Explains a few things. Oh, right. Um, country. Hmm. For king and country. So if I just pop over to here. command and we go here and try for the kill 
A rather successful attempt, say I. Uh, we got those two to deal with. They apparently can't see across this at all. Kneel before your king. If I go there to well, semi protect her. What's it gonna be? We don't want him being a target again. We might not have much choice in the matter. Yeah, yeah, do expose yourself. Okay, they can see across it. Fine, we just can't. Keep fighting. Because that's totally fair and balanced. For king and country. You think right. I can't fight? How about this? How far was... Oh, beautiful. Not burning, however. At your service, my lord. I fight for honor. Okay, if we just rush him, that might work a bit. You coward. At your service, my lord. Well, tax attacks. <laughs> One from insult. Great, but you should know that we'll need to deal with some Fomorian beasts too. I don't know what the deal with that line is. I think he must be continuing on his conversation from earlier. Seems to be responding to someone else, however. I shall put this to good use. So, at this point, I should continue exploring, but cautiously, as we have lost a lot of armor here. I see the edge of a battlefield. Don't worry, I'm not going to enter it. And the camp is. Whoa! Okay, what we got so far there? We got... Oh my goodness, that's not good. Okay. So apparently... There's keyboard movement controls in this game. What is this thing? The shadows from the past are gathering again. A terrible presence is pushing at the boundaries of my Avalon. Ours. That's what it is. So that's an Axe and Shield Warrior. There's probably quite a few in there. I'm going to backtrack a little. Exploring the map feels like a semi-good idea. Emphasis on the semi. Hmm. What an interesting find. Equal shares to all. We struck gold. We found a chest. How delightful. Oh, nice. That's a healthy amount of relic dust. Okay. I suppose we aren't going to get to explore over that way very much. Oh, it's a fight? Back there is a fight? Take a look at this. Why is it a fight back here? Hmm. So it would seem the pits are going to come to try and cut us off on our return. The blood and sweat. Which means the second campfire up here makes a little more sense now. It's 
still means we need to be careful, however. A sacred. Uh uh. Alien skins. Here. Kill them. Okay. So they have a defensive barrier. Let's see if I could help. There is help from a defensive barrier, and we would need to get a fair bit closer. So what are we dealing with here? The big hammers are of course a problem. Three archers, five archers. That's a lot of chosen. This little area up here we might be able to utilize a bit but it does mean we're just sitting ducks waiting to be shot as does these barriers to be honest I don't think the Chosen are going to start smashing down their own barriers Since they do have a At lot of... Your service, Why are we Lord. all weakened now? This I do not understand. This happened in the previous mission. There was an issue with us all suddenly becoming weakened at the start of a fight. Without much of an explanation. Uh, objectives, find King Arthur. Yeah, we are screwed. I think this sound is like the Fisher King first mission. We had to find him, fight him, learn we couldn't defeat him, and then run away. So what are we going to do? We are going to... I mean, in theory, they can't shoot us from all the way back there very well. Your command. It's not a theory I'm looking forward to testing. What do you want? So, one, two, three, four. I need to go forwards about four squares. To here. And now I can't do that. I can absolutely burn this down. Can't follow up with anything. Your command does kneel before your king. Oh, wait, because I have the ability to remove some of these conditions, don't I? Well, I'll bear that in mind next turn. Let's hope they don't do massive amounts of damage with all those bows at this extreme range. Kind of boxed themselves in there with the Chosen, to be honest. Yeah, that's going to be horrible. Okay. Joy. What's it gonna be? Oh, that's bad. We need to get out of both of these, which means we cannot do this. Alright. Let's get creative then. As if it isn't blatantly obvious what I'm about to do. Right, Just let's service, see my Lord. if. Everyone's still weakened. Let's see if I could help. Let's 
go one more square. So this is very nice. Actually, it's very nice. Yeah. I was going to go with the fog, but then I saw I'd just take two of them out right away. For king and country. For my Camelot. Okay, we can break health. And then at your service, my lord. This is quicker. And involves because we take one damage per square in the poisonous cloud as well. That's the other reason for it. Right, now. I fight for honor. No one will really arrange it. I imagine a lot of them will run off and become invulnerable. We want you out of harm's way. Maybe there if we're feeling really lucky, but no, just back here for now. Yes, please, stay outside the area. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, just stand there. Right. So. How much closer do we need about one square? Okay. Well, guess what? That'll do. I fight for honor. Now we can't armor up, which is a bit of a problem. Let's see if I could help. We can, however, summon the dragon. I think that actually feels worth it. Okay. One square further forward, you say? Sure. Look, it would be really nice to do it for these, but they're all invulnerable at the moment. It is a free turn cooldown, however. We got two frontline knights. The fog is really nice. Ranged attacks now. Ranged. Ranged. And. Oh, that's not ranged, that's why it's right around him. Yeah, so another ranged attack. Okay, so. Hmm. We can seriously hamper their range damage output or just take out two. So if we say we take half an attack away from everybody, that's one, two, three, four, six people down to three people. We kill two of these, that's four people, but they're still dead next turn. It does feel very tempting, even if it... <sighs> Attacks break armour. What do you want? And then... With one square... Wait. Don't worry, I'll take it all back. Yeah. 
Excellent. So we're going to go to there and face that way. No, all right that way. She can go to here. He can stay None can stand and in my way. turn, just in case that one fancies coming in for some kind of cheeky back salad. Uh-oh. That's nasty reinforcements. And there's both backstabs who are worried about. They love me. Ah, oh, come on, now you take this. Okay. I mean, it's right there, so. You know. Care of it. Your orders. Now then. Your command. <laughs> okay, we've limited action. Taste <laughs> Your head is mine. Back over here. And taking care of one of these. Um, Let's see if I could help. On me. It's just a turn, but it might be the turn we need. They didn't go invulnerable. It's good. Right. So. Your command? And kill. And drink, man. Like it. Yeah. Okay, so if we're just gonna pop over this way somewhere, what else Your are we gonna command. do? No teleporting. He None needs can to absolutely stand in get out way. there. Let's see if I could help. So I could teleport back here and start blasting that. I was going to say that doesn't seem wise. However, look at that now. And on fire, you're dead. At your service, my lord. There we go. Everyone's kind of safe. I can, however, do this, right? That is a theoretically good start. I fight for honor. None can stand in my way. Your command? Right, so if we armor up, come to about here. Rush to there. 
this may be very wrong. Oh wait. Then we're gonna stand here to give them both armor. Or dead from the flames, rather. and then we I just need to you. Have some help, I suppose. Yeah, you can walk, old man. You can fly next to <coughs> Wow, my throat's getting really dry, isn't it? <laughs> yep, fine. There's a campfire nearby. It was only hit points. Soon it's my turn. This has brought back some memories. I really don't want to think about that too much. Okay, what have we here? This looks unhealthy, but it might just be beneficial. Your proficiency in spellcraft reveals that the shrine will unleash the following power. Slowness. Yeah, we're going to leave well alone. And we're now in an interesting position of wanting to recover both hit points and armor. And it, oh, it looks like there's a separate fight in the camp. Okay, great. So, caution. You can rest here if you must. A treasure chest. Dear friend, I think we must. and listen to the world. Who is going to do this? Right, so... I think we walk in from over here. In the hope of whittling them off piece by piece. Do you see that? Yeah, it's not going to be pretty. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, we get deployment. So let's absolutely, like, stick everyone down in this corner. Hey. You know what? Your orders? Not a terribly bad deployment. For my Camelot. There we go. I could be of some help. Oh, beautiful. Kneel before if I just do this... I'll go to, say, there. Your orders? For king and country. You can turn this way. You must be really desperate. I think we cluster up for now, then spread as soon as they start dropping templates. Oh. Evil arrows begin. That's an extreme range she had there. Now. 
In terms of chess, if this was a chess game, would you want to advance into this gap here and dominate this area of here straight away movement? But actually pulling back here is probably not an entirely bad idea. Deal. Now, they do have a lot of ranged attacks. However, ooh, you know, there are some tasty options available to us. Your command? So we could step out to here, absolutely muller this one a little bit. And we can still back up two squares, which actually seems like a really good idea. None can stand in my way. Just get them. I could be of some help, I suppose. We do this with a pushback, not the kill. We set this to attack its nearest ally. Or just the nearest enemy. And then we pop out to here. Attack that one and back out to there and hope it's enough. There we go. Yep, expected a lot of that. You will make it, don't you worry. Okay, fog next turn. <laughs> Without a doubt. Unless Merlin's in the area of a rather large template of impending doom and summoning the fog would not do enough to get him out of it. I mean... Oh... It just makes so much sense. Actually, that's even nicer. I fight for honor. It's not quite enough because that's a yellow action point. So Your orders? Okay, let's go for the clean. Kneel <laughs> before you. I thought I could do better. <laughs> For king and country. Let's freeze this. Then pop back over to here to protect everyone. We have a magician. And he needs to probably turn to face this way because of that bugger. Bone hair. Right. We end our turn. She's just not moving, is she? You will make it, Ugh. don't you? Ow. Okay. She's finally approached. Well, now. Prepare to die. Let's concentrate on recovering some action points. Your hand is mine. Some hit points, rather. And we'll drink a potion. Let's slog this one while he's vulnerable. 
your command. Sword or sorcery? Okay, so that gives us five green action points left. Wow. So generous, game. You are so absolutely generous. Your orders? For honor. <laughs> Big Bosch. Your orders? Now oh, we can't freeze him if we do teleport over there. Right, okay. Well... I could be of some help, I suppose. I mean, staying here and protecting people isn't entirely bad. Your command. We would get a lot of attacks, however. For the round table. I mean, he's got a lot of health. And now for the not quite yet moment of extra damage. The piece de resistance, ignoring the fact that I completely clicked on the wrong character when I was about to do it. And we end our turns. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, she's going to need protection suit. Yeah, keep shooting one who can take the damage. I wholeheartedly approve of that method. That is a problem. She's going to take a free strike to leave. She's got a healing potion. She's going to have to use it. I fight for honor. I think we're going to have to. Tricky. Bit of fun. Oh, mate, wrong target. Oh no, it was just the extra fire spreading. Perfect. Right. Before you And the strike here. Yeah, we need to be over here quickly. means she does need to drink that second potion and we go stand there while we're at it what's it gonna be um, yeah we're kind of coping Yes, spend action points healing. I'm totally fine with that. Not quite so fine with this, but... <laughs> this, my friend, is what we call damage. It happens to you. Typically, as a result of something we Your do. Orders? Frozen at your service, my lord. Taken care of, right? Well, we can just go like this, can't we? Marana. I could be of some help, I suppose. That'll do. 
look, takes off one of her spell shields, we can lift it back. And you can go tuck yourself in here by the corner of the tent, and our turn is done. Okay, get those hit points back. Well, could have been worse. And we get our second camp, which we will use for armor recovery. I hoped for something more. The second campfire makes sense of this being split into two combat encounters. Rested and ready. Uh, if my commentary is a bit off, it's because I'm having to record this a few hours later than usual and the clock's changed as well. So, um, yeah. There's something back here that I would like to access. What an interesting find. So, at this point in time, it feels like we've got a reasonably good handle on the mission. But it's a main storyline mission, so we're expecting some really nasty stuff. I'd do it. <laughs> Man, no sound effects at all for that. Okay. What do we know? Shield bash. A very familiar icon for a very different skill. Someone walk. Okay, great. We don't want any of that. Okay. so slightly closer and then summon the dragon I mean this thing is just Wait, like, what your orders no no okay so this one just can't get through because of that but that's going to move unless I prevent it from doing so Hit and run, lady. Hit and run. So stupid. At your service, my lord. Okay, that's a very far forward position, so we'll do that in case this has some nasty tricks up its sleeve. Send in a little more lightning. There we go. Yes, place another monster in your way. Oh, he got back armor with that as well as health. That's not good. Okay. We can work with this. Oh, yes. Yes. Stand around him. What do you want? You know you want to. I mean, come on. What do we say? We say, I can take for more stigma already. 
not stick my bubble look at it. You think I can't fight? There we go. Just absolutely landscape guard of a battlefield with these enemies. I fight then I think we might need to get in there and do some serious damage. Your orders. So Your orders? That's a really good start. That's an even better start. And now we get change from maximum wonkage to great cleavage. Coming in is really good. Right. Uh, with two, we could get one more. And I think we should. For king and country. For the round table. Excellent stuff. Now then. None can stand in my way. That's not much. So let's look at our other options. Kneel before your king. I don't like those archers. So we'll do something about that. Okay, Lady, you can go stand here. Sword or sorcery. For up an illusion. It might just help. Even if it just gives that archer something to shoot at. And you can just go hide over there for now. As we're gonna to need to keep you alive. Nasty cleaving strike. Oh, no. to kill me. She just survived worse, Brad. She did. Oh no, there she is. Only partially in the ground. Right, well, look, we'll um, absolutely kill that. Okay. Ready? <laughs> ah, he's dead to the crows. None left standing. What a surprise. Yeah, I remember this bridge. I wonder if they actually recycled the same map, because it feels like the layout of some of the camps is slightly different. Yeah, the fights on the other side of that bridge before were fiendishly tough. Now, as things currently stand, we've got two campfires on the other side, and probably a fight back here afterwards. There's an extra area down here, isn't there? Or is that it? kind of feel, given that it's very late, that a battle save is in order. I seem to remember this place. The rock will be on the right. With every step we take, darkness is growing. That night we seek must be there. Let's truly hope he is not. So here we had the Battle of the Many Poisonous Slugs before. I think we need to sneak towards this campfire and see if we can reach it safely. If we can if we could reach both campfires safely, that would be too much. Okay. Worms, death comes for you. 
maybe we're supposed to encounter this on the way back. Right. Okay. I could be of some help, I suppose. I think this is a fog term. I really. But I mean, hey, you know. Uh, it's only 20. 29 damage and a lot of armor. They're going to bottleneck us. We need to spread out this small space. Time to feed the ravens. But only slowly. Your command? Kneel before your king. Okay. Your orders? So we need you standing here, lady. Better protect yourself. Because you're going to need it. You must be really desperate. And then. Sword or sorcery. Okay, that's only three. So that gives us five. We got six for the main blast, five for the dragon. Okay. Lay down a bit of damage first. And go to there. Right. And we're going to need to charge out at them next turn. <laughs> That won't be pretty. The charge of the light brigade all over again by the look of it. And invulnerable? Yeah. We're kind of used to that by now. Okay, so first things first. You need to get out of this area. That's a really nice square to be in. For my How about everybody else? We don't want to charge you. What we can do huh. is that. That is not enough damage. Okay. Ooh. That's tricky. Right. What do you want from me? Okay, that's kind of nice, but. Burning. This is not. Uh oh. Okay. Ah, oh, we're screwed. Well. I'm thinking. It's pushing a quarter to four in the morning. And that means I've been playing for near about an hour and a half, nearly two hours. I think I'm going to stop the episode here and resume it next time. Yeah, I'll do that. I hope you've all enjoyed this one. Look, I know, I know, no episode of Alone in the Dark yet. I didn't record Resident Evil on Christmas. I'm not going to record Alone in the Dark on Easter. But after Easter Monday, I'll be like straight in there. More Alone in the Dark coming very soon. For now, though, I was okay recording this, so uh, yeah, see you all next time, guys. Bye for now.